Many people's dream garage includes having some sort of exotic or even some sort of high horsepower nasty car like the one behind the camera. To maintain cars like this requires the rest of the garage. The whole point of this place is, I've affectionately named it the Dom Pound, is to have the tools to work on my own cars. The first thing that I need to do though is to have the right set of tools to work on anything inside of this garage. Check this out. I don't ever want to grow up. <laughs> oh, I love it. Anytime you get a crate of anything, it's probably either one of the best life decisions or one of the worst, and this is one of the best. This is Tang Tools 715 piece toolkit. It comes with an actual tool chest. Probably the perfect thing to have in a shop like this. In situations like this, I'm quickly reminded that I am a 34 year old man. There is no adult supervision, but I don't trust myself with knives or any sort of like machinery or industrial like things. But you get to be a kid at this point in your life and a man's garage is exactly what this is gonna be. <laughs> this is way more fun than it should be. <laughs> One of the special things that is particular to my situation, and I'm hoping that this is that box. I could be totally wrong, this could be just uh, tool dividers. Tang Tools sent me a three quarter inch drive set. Yeah, not three eighths, not half inch, but three quarter inch. You know that that's meant to do really bad things in my hands. Oh, my goodness. This is just, I begged them to send this additionally, and they worked their magic. Oh, I do not deserve this. All the way up to two inch, 50 millimeter sockets. Look at those things. These are great for like wheel nuts, you know, like axle nuts and stuff like that. I knew I'm gonna need this because I'm actually working on suspension in a car, but oh my God. <laughs> the, the smallest the one? The smallest one. <laughs> but look at that. That's the socket. <laughs> that is giant. So if that is the socket, what is the ratchet? Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, I'm an idiot 90% of the time and I always use too small of a ratchet, too small of a socket. I use adjustable wrenches. I'm that guy, I really am. I was hesitant to talk to Tang Tools because I didn't want them to have me be one of the representatives. Well in this case, you can't really mess this up. This thing probably can be used as a hammer, a sledgehammer, every, oh my God, everything in between. I don't deserve it. I don't deserve it. So the idea is that there's the tool chest back here, there's the lift back here, we have pneumatics, maybe a welder, maybe even a CNC machine, like the dream car garage. And so all those are in those corners of the building, but then this back wall is like the fake brick, but still brick wall, maybe tagged with Dom, like the cool, well-lit area so that we, you can like photograph and video all the day long, but the work gets done in these quarters. This is the 715 piece kit. There's like 10 boxes, but they have a variety of their tool sets. A lot of the things that I need, where instead of it just being one adjustable, it's a variety of the correct tools for the job. This is a moment in my life where I have to mature and be an adult. Ooh, okay. Combination lock. Oh, you can lock it so that way you're not allowed to use it. <laughs> Ooh. He's got the, the nice like lock into place feel. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sniper shot.
keeps going off. Bring your child to work day and annoy the f out of everybody. Oh. Oh, you hear that thump? Mm. <laughs> what I'm looking for is handles. Yeah, okay, there we go. We're gonna put the handle on it. Oops. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I need a flathead. If only I had a toolkit. Alright, so we got the handle on, and for good use, this is a beefy, beefy tool chest. There you go. Yeah, I did it without scratching anything for once in my life. I, I already like this about this setup. Is see how that's got, it's embossed and these are raised? It holds it in place. That's an attention to detail. We got the two stationary ones over here. We've got the two spinnable ones over here. Flip it back over. The infamous power cord trick. <laughs> that's pretty sexy. Okay, this is cool. Oh, that's neat. That's the iconic Tang Tool look right there. That, that is cool. Tools, which I'm excited to get into. Ah. Okay, we're done here. This is all we <laughs> need. Don't be jealous. Smart to have the screws on the back side because all the weight is gonna pull from like like this. One of the things that Teng was telling me is that their pride and joy is these management kits, the ability to organize it all. And while some of these are very generic tools, it does call it in general, it's got a place and spot for all of them. The truth is if you you ever see a person using a tap and die set and you go out in the garage and you see them staring at one of these you just back up and walk away because nothing good comes from using a tap and die set. I dig that. Oh, they definitely go that way. Look at that. That fits. That's gonna be sick being able to pull out every drawer and have like tons of stuff in there. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna have to make sure this drawer is the ratchet drawer. I'm gonna forget. That's pretty sick. Look at that. What you guys do not see is, I've cut the video probably three times, Jared's got all the footage deleted. I've moved these up a tray, down a tray. Okay, maybe it should go with the crescent wrenches, maybe it shouldn't. It's wearing on, and neither of us have eaten all day. Thank you Tang Tools for giving me the choice and the ability, but the problem is, I shouldn't have the choice and ability to organize my tools like this. This is not a positive thing for a person like me. Go Jared, go while you still can, go, go. I'm, I'm, I'm done, I'm gonna leave it for now. I'm gonna let it soak in overnight and we're gonna be done with the tool chest. But this whole setup is bad ass. These guys make a pretty solid thing. We'll go over it more in detail, but this is just the beginning of what this is all about. Like I said, I want welders, I want CNC machines, 
but we're gonna start with the basics. Hand tools, power tools, and a lift. The Dream Garage is starting now.